As part of our continuing effort to learn and share best practices, we are encouraged to be the best at everything we do, regardless of the task, large or small. In this segment of In Focus, we will look at imminent danger barricading and how to execute related tasks correctly. Only erect danger barricades for activities that pose imminent danger to life or health. If a threat exists, barricade all sides of the area and place an information tag. Keep out of the red barricaded areas. This is life critical requirement number seven and mandates your compliance 100% of the time. Your job and your life could depend on it. Supervisors play a key role in ensuring barricades are erected where and when they are required. They also must ensure that while barricades are erected, the barricades are serving the intended purpose. Once the imminent danger no longer exists, barricades must be removed. Use appropriate stanchions to erect barricades and only secure the affected areas. This avoids impeding the flow of personnel in surrounding and unaffected areas. After watching this video, immediately go and assess your danger barricades and ensure they do in fact isolate imminent danger and are erected correctly. Access and print the 411 and the core process relating to barricades and over the next week and periodically thereafter, review with your crews and draw attention to specifics as they relate to your work. Review and understand the assessment questions related to barricades so you can reinforce compliance. Target positive compliance with recognition and reward positive behavior as it occurs and we can all realize our goals each day. Barricades serve the vital purpose of ensuring the safety of our personnel while allowing access throughout the dynamic environments found on our projects around the world. It takes everyone's attention and adherence to the barricading practices to achieve goal zero. And remember, here at Bechtel, right the first time, every time.